Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, January 9th, and I'm just getting up, getting ready to start my day. Um, we've got another storm coming in later today, but this time, because the temperature is going to be so high, uh, it's going to be rain, but we're going to have a lot of wind, torrential rain. They said... Um, area flooding, possibly power outages. I hope we don't lose power again. I mean, I'm thankful enough that we have the generator um, to power some things, but um, look at this one hair sticking out. I know this is what happens when I wake up in the morning. So it's just my crazy hair. Anyway, um, the generator powers some things, but not all things. So it doesn't power um, the water heater. So if we lose power, I'm good for one shower. <laughs> one quick shower. And then the hot water goes by ice. So fingers crossed. We don't lose power. But I've been working on, um, for a New Year's resolution, I've been working on starting myself earlier in the morning and getting to work early in the morning. Because for the most part, I usually get there right on time or a few minutes late every morning. And some of my other coworkers get to work like a half an hour early and they get a boatload of overtime. So I have been working on trying to get there early, not a half an hour early. Cause I'm not going to milk it like other people do. Um, but a few minutes early, you know, so that means I have to get in the shower in the next few minutes. So I'm going to do my blood pressure real quick. I know I said I wasn't going to show you my blood pressure every morning, but I did have a couple of my, few of my viewers um, comment that they missed my um, daily vlogs. They sent me messages. They missed my daily vlogs. So while I can't do, I can't promise I can do daily vlogs, I'm going to try to do a weekly vlog on top of my Saturday morning releases. So I'm going to do my morning blood pressure, share that with you, because I guess some of you found it interesting. Who knew? So yesterday morning, it was actually fairly decent. It was 128 over 88. So it's not bad. Um, so I'm going to see what we're working with today. I think maybe the lisinopril, um, maybe it takes a little longer to start working. Not like the hydrochlorothezide that I guess started working within a, a couple of days. Um, maybe lisinopril takes longer to build up in your system. I don't know. But anyway, let's see what we got today. All right, so today, 134 over 89, which I guess still is not terrible. Um, and again, I've been up for a little bit um, doing some stuff around the house. Not not doing stuff around the house, but, you know, getting Callie her breakfast, getting my coffee. So, I don't know. So, it's 5.45 a.m. and it's 1.34 over 89. So, not terrible. You know, not ideal. I would prefer, you know, it be in the low 
the low 120s um, over the low 80s. But anyway, I guess I'll go get in the shower, start my day, go to work. It's been um, so quiet at work and I, I just, it's just boring when you don't have a ton of stuff to keep you like super busy. And I prefer to be like super busy. It makes for a boring long day. So, I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna go jump in the shower. And I'm gonna get started even earlier today than I did yesterday. I got to work yesterday at quarter of eight. And I had gotten in the shower at six. It's now 10 of six. I'm gonna get in the shower. So, I'll talk to you later. It's Tuesday, January 9th. I'm heading off to work for another fun filled day. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to talk to my boss about giving me some more work because, right, it's, it's the same. Always this time of the year, I get into like my customers, it's like a lull. There's not as much wine order this time of the year either, wine orders, because a lot of people do what they call dry January. Um, and when people do dry January, they don't drink. So there's not as many orders for wine. So therefore, it's very, very quiet at work. So, yeah. which makes for a boring day. Long, boring day. But it's, I'm, I'm doing good with my New Year's resolution to get my butt to work earlier. It's 7.30 and I'm heading to work. You know, normally it's like a quarter of, 10 of. So, I'm, I'm doing better with that, that's good. I'm gonna start, I think, doing a different route to work. Though, if I'm gonna leave at 7.30, because the high school up here is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs at this time of the day. Like all these people trying to drop off, they come down this side road here, and it's ridiculous. All right, so that means I'm gonna go straight, and I'm sure as heck not going that way. I think probably there's a completely different route that I can take to get to work. Uh, there's actually multiple routes that I can take. I mean, I could take the highway, but you know, I like to avoid the highway at all costs because you know, the highway is cray cray. People are cray cray on the highway. Um, but there are a couple of different back road routes that I can take. Let's see, even now I'm sitting in a boatload of traffic. So I guess leaving earlier doesn't really make that much of a difference sometimes because you end up sitting in a boatload of traffic. I mean, normally when I leave at quarter of, all this high school traffic is gone. And I didn't even make the light. Dang it. But 
but I did. I did make the light because all that traffic is still stopped. What are we running a drag race? Wow. Looney Tunes. map here it looks like 95 north is a big old mess so see that's why I don't take the highway and I can see the highway from right here through the trees and all the traffic is just sitting there so that's one of the reasons right there why I don't take the highway because once you're stuck once you're stuck in that, just sitting there traffic, there's no way out of it. You're, you're stuck until you get to the next exit. Oop, pothole. So all the snow that's out there is going to be gone by tomorrow morning. We're getting, um, temperatures are going to climb today, today and tomorrow. Temperatures are going to climb, and um, we're going to get a lot of rain. A lot of rain, and what's going to happen is we're going to get flooding. So tomorrow morning should be interesting. Um, we'll see. They said um, we could end up with power outages. We could end up with down trees because the ground... Um, has not frozen and because the ground is not frozen the trees are compromised because the ground is so wet so I don't know. fingers crossed that we don't lose power I'll have to set an alarm on my um, my iPad just in case currently 22 degrees so I know there's still black ice in, in places so you do have to be careful I called the other day to make Callie's reservation for her boarding for June and um, so I'm glad I got that all set all set I don't like leaving her obviously you know I'd rather take her with me <laughs> but to take your dog on a cruise that's a lot you know it's a lot and you know as of right now they don't have cruise ships that allow you to bring your dogs maybe someday they'll do like a cruise a cruise line for humans and their pets and it could be geared towards activities for you and your pets but on just a regular cruise bringing your dog with you it would be a lot so that's fine you know she'll be safe and sound in her little indoor outdoor suite that um, they take good care of her there. She's, yeah, she's safe there, so that's good. There's a sign, too, on this route that I take to work every morning that starting mid-February, they're gonna, um, this road is gonna be closed because they're gonna be doing work 
Oh no, what's going on up here? What the heck is going on up here? Tree work. They probably are doing tree work in preparation for the bridge. going to go this way tomorrow. <laughs> I'll be going a different way tomorrow because there's a whole lot of stuff going on over there. I know that they're preparing to, I'm hoping they're going to widen that bridge because that bridge is really, really narrow. So I'm hoping they're going to widen it. I'm guessing that's what they're doing. But I guess I'll start getting used to going a different way. You know? And then that way I can kind of figure out what's the best time to leave the house with my different route. We finished Virgin River the other day. It was so, 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 so good. If I, I said this before. If you haven't watched Virgin River, really, really good show. Um... Then this weekend, we started Bridgerton, which is fun. Um, and then after Bridgerton, we're going to watch Queen Charlotte. And then there's a couple of TV programs on Apple that I want to watch. So, but I highly recommend Virgin River. I also highly recommend, if you haven't watched it yet, Firefly Lane on Netflix. All of the shows that I just mentioned are on Netflix. And we watched Firefly Lane um, the beginning of this year. So, so good. Oh yeah, I gotta call Ed real quick to remind him to ma um, mail my package to the Applefords today. So, I'm gonna end this for now and I'll chat with y'all later. Another fun-filled day at work today. Just letting Callie out to go potty. Come on, come back in the house, baby girl. It's raining. The rain has just started. And we're supposed to get a lot of rain. A lot of rain. Um, torrential, torrential rain and high winds. Sorry it's so dark right now. Um, but yeah. So they're expecting a lot of flooding. Um, downed trees. Sorry, I don't mean to be all jumbly. Eek. Um, sorry. So yeah, um, lots of flooding, downed trees. Um, hopefully, hopefully we don't lose power. We'll see. But I am um, gonna head in now and do my walk because that's my New Year's resolution, to walk on the treadmill every day and to get to work early every day. So I'm gonna watch my housewives because the real housewives, that's my guilty pleasure. That's one thing that Ed won't watch with me, but that's fine. That's what I watch when I get ready for work in the morning. Um, I watch it when I um, walk on the treadmill. Um, yeah, I watch that. I watch Southern Charm. I watch Vanderpump Rules. Um, Summer House. What other ones do I watch? Anyway. So I'm going to go watch The Housewives and walk on the treadmill. 
So I'm putting on my sneaks. I'm gonna get on the treadmill right here. I have my little setup. So I have my TV up on top of the bureau so I can walk on the treadmill here and watch TV, which is convenient. Cause I am not one that can just walk on the treadmill and listen to music or just walk on the treadmill with nothing. I have to watch TV or a movie or something. Keeps me um, from focusing on the fact that I'm walking. I don't know if you get if, if you get what I'm saying. It, it keeps me entertained while I'm walking. There we go. Keeps me entertained. If I just walk with nothing, then it it just becomes really boring to me, and I won't do it. But if I have my programs to watch, I will walk longer. So because then I'm motivated because I want to keep watching. So I'll keep walking. <laughs> anyway, getting on the sneaks, gonna get on the treadmill. Then I'm gonna make, well, I don't have to make dinner. It's leftovers tonight, so it's an easy night. I don't have to cook. Oof, I got my walk done. I'm hot. Well, I'm hot from walking, but I think I'm also having a major hot flash right now. Ugh, I've been getting quite a few today. Sometimes I can go for like days, sometimes weeks without a hot flash. And then sometimes there's a day where it's just constant, like nonstop hot flashes all day. And today's been one of those days. I've been flashing all day. Last night I had quite a few um, like night sweats. Anyway. I am going to um, empty my camera. I have so many pictures in my phone camera. So I'm gonna empty, um, I'll clean out my camera um, and put them on. I have a bunch of these little USB um, flash drives. So I put all, I, I organize and I put all of my pictures and videos on the flash drives. So I'm gonna do that now. Then I'm gonna go I don't have to cook dinner, but I'm gonna go prepare dinner, um, get it warmed up. Ed should be home shortly, and we're gonna sit down and watch another episode of Bridgerton. So I'm gonna also upload this video for your enjoyment this evening, if you enjoy it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.